Hi, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the fun math routine that's called Which One Doesn't Belong, or W-O-D-B. And this is a really fun visual math routine that focuses on analyzing reasoning and justifying student thinking. So why I love Which One Doesn't Belong as a math routine is that everyone is able to contribute and feel successful with this. And it really encourages creative thinking. And as I said, it focuses on that analyzing, reasoning, justification, and giving clear communication for kids. Um, it's really fun. And check this out. So um, as I said, it's a visual math routine. So you're gonna show the which one doesn't belong image. And I have some resources for you, some free ones. And I like to use ones that are not necessarily math related at first. So this one you can see has a sample of fruit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, well, which one doesn't belong? And there's always four different objects. And you invite kids to share their reasons for why they think which ones don't belong. Ask kids to find a reason why each item doesn't belong to the group. So let's try this one right now. So which one doesn't belong? And I want you just to look at the image for a second and think about how each one is different from the group in its own way. And as I said, this doesn't always seem very mathy at first. And sometimes kids are like, what, this is math? But it's fun to start with these routines that are more visual and are just getting kids to analyze images and think about uh, relationships between objects. And it's a very safe and comfortable environment for kids to take risks and to notice things. So when you get to images that are more math related, they feel comfortable sharing their ideas and their noticings. All right, here are a few things that I got from the, uh, my students about this one is somebody said, I think A doesn't belong because it is in a bowl. I think C doesn't belong because it is not fruit. I think B doesn't belong because it's a heart is cut out of one object instead of made out of many objects put together. And I think D because it's mixed fruits instead of just one item. And this is a really fun routine to do if you are short on time. You don't have to write down student responses if you want to. I a lot of times do because it shows kids that their thinking is valuable. But this is a math routine that I do if I'm very short on time. If I have to just squeeze in you know, five minutes uh, somewhere because kids can just talk about it and practice justifying their thinking and their reasoning just through communication. And sometimes I'll just show the image and have kids talk with their partners or their brain buddies and share reasons, you know, why they think different ones don't belong. Or sometimes I've even printed out the image and uh, just post it up on the room, have kids write down their, you know, their thoughts on a post-it note and then add it to the image. So here are some tips. Uh, as I kind of mentioned, start with non-curricular images, images that kids don't think are related to math in any way because it helps them to feel safe exploring and noticing which one doesn't belong when, it has, when they don't see it having any relationship to math at all. And then as you introduce more mathy type images, um, they're more comfortable and they are more confident sharing ideas. Here's a fun one, have kids create their own which one doesn't belong images. You know, they can find images online. At my school, we have iPads, they can go out and take pictures. So having them create their own which one doesn't belong images is very powerful. And as I mentioned, just squeeze this routine in when you don't have a lot of time. So just those five minute blocks that you maybe right at the end of the day or just any time that you need that like five minutes of fill time. And I do have some free which one doesn't belong image resources that you can use and download. And I'll provide a link to those so that you can access those images. And you can also check out which one doesn't belong. Oh, w o d b dot c a. And they have tons and tons and tons of free images for which one doesn't belong over there. 
So I really hope you try this math routine. It's fun. Kids enjoy it. And as a teacher, I enjoy it. I also use it at home with my own kids. It's just a fun way to talk about math in a very not mathy type way, in a way that just lets kids see like, hey, this is fun. And our noticings and our wonderings are all welcome and invited. All right. Hope you enjoy this. Bye.